curious to hear what you think about this. That that it's a it's a totally irrational market, the job market, right? Unless it isn't. That there are just some people who really are brilliant at it. They're born to do it, and they almost come out like ex utero, their first minute ex utero. They're like ready to become, you know, be a Duke but semiotics But the, the problem with saying that is that everyone in this room is thinking that it might be him or her. No, because it's not a com because it's not a compliment, so they shouldn't think, I'm wonderful, <laughs> therefore I'm that person. That's the it's problem. Like, there is no translation of wonderful yeah. into tenure-track positions. Look, it, you know what I actually think it's, this, I actually do think this is, here comes, here comes the tiny little dram of oh, wisdom. Stop I with finally the found Just it. tell us it's good. I, no, I, fa I, I finally found it. Just sit down. Take a deep breath and ask yourself who your hero is. I really, that's so corny, okay. but it's so true. And right. if your hero is Janet Malcolm, don't fucking go to graduate school. Don't go to grad school. And if your hero, if your hero uh -oh, is uh, Mark Edmondson. Oh, yeah, you know, but he's such an exception. But, but so is Janet Malcolm. Do you yeah, understand? but I'm saying I mean, you, you, you created a false dichotomy between a person who succeeded out doing brilliant general writing and reporting and researching um, and who has, has a readership. And on the, one, on the other hand, this si someone sitting at the edge of academia who's trying to do that within academia. Can you give us a square, more traditional, you don't have to name a name, but that, the conversation would go better if you could give us someone who's much squarer academically in but, the university. But, 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 if you're, but you're naming a hero now. You know, I mean, so no square heroes allowed. In uh, no, okay. So now we're talking at the New Yorker or in the Harvard no, in, English in department. In Harvard English department. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, well, Luke Manan, Helen, Helen, uh, Helen Vendler. Okay, no. there we go. Okay, it's out on the floor. Helen Vendler is the alternative now. Okay. If you ha if your hero is Helen Vendler, <laughs> this got pugilistic very fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 I'm trying to. I want us to see whether the hero can be squarely in academia, and and, oh. and it works. For and you. even she's not a great example then. I mean, because she has a general audience thing too. Once in a while. Yeah, I mean, let's think of someone more square. Nominations are open. But for I mean, I know people. Per, I mean, you know, I know people personally who are in academia who are now in their yeah. early to mid career. Of course. Uh, and you don't know them, you know, because you wouldn't. They're not. They're not. I mean, you might know them as a specialist, but you wouldn't right. know them otherwise. Right. You know, but they're but they're not your your hero is someone that came to you through the right. the grapevine broadly construed, right? right? And and but I think that's a good way to do it, only because look, your chances of becoming Janet, my chances of becoming Janet Malcolm are 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 minuscule, and your chances of being Richard Rorty are minuscule. And the world adapts and change and changes, right. and, and the social conditions under which Helen Vendler becomes so, Helen Vendler have long since. Uh, you know, in here, and so, but but it's still useful for structuring your own ambitions. I mean, they ought to be. That's the way they ought to be structured. They shouldn't be structured fearfully, and uh, and that was my biggest mistake. I hugged the shore, right? The great phrase from right. John Updike. That's and I right. I really hugged the shore. You did. And trust me, you wake up at forty, be like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm still on the shore. Right. What the fuck? I mean, it's right. much better to say Janet Malcolm is an, and she is, in my estimation, just a transcendent hero in the world of nonfiction writing with intellectual you know, aspirations. And it's much better to say at the age of 22, okay, because what's your worst case scenario? You know, you're still in your 20s and you stumbled a little bit and then you do something else. But right. I, I would do it totally aspirationally. That's your great luxury. Now I'm... Now I'm so this is great because about 10 minutes ago I asked the question asking for advice and you, in the end of that just now, offered it. Yeah, no, Which I mean, your great life advantage is your, is your youth your, and time. You're in your and, 20s, and, and you have aspirations, and if Janet Malcolm, et cetera, at Alia are, are your heroes, go for that, you can, and if it, what's the worst case scenario? Yes, so yeah, yeah. there's your, there's your uh, advice, thank you. No, I, I'm I have, sincere I, about that. I, can I ask a question? Just names, I want to hear the names, like, so who are your writing heroes? Okay, come on, let's hear them. Let's hear them. Jess, Who is it? Jess, you, you have to move this mic around so this gets picked up. Yeah. He, let's hear them. Just throw them out. She'll pick it up on the mic. Go ahead. Didion. Didion. There you go, right? Can you turn James. that on first? James Wood. Yeah, James Wood. Anybody else? Hillary Reinsberg. Who are you reading? Who's but James is a great example because he's someone I may know him a little bit, so I'll call him James. But I mean, very little bit. But 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 he's a great example because he's someone who who felt for a long time uh, a kind of uh, uh, anticipatory 
uh, intellectual insecurity about the fact that he didn't go to graduate school because when he first started coming up in England as a critic for The Guardian, a theory was very big and very intimidating. And so imagine James, what, James, you felt what? You felt, there's a weird echo in here, you felt insecure about your intellect? I mean, it's incredible, right? But the moment came around to him. And there were a lot of older, I mean, I saw his career really unfold. There were a lot of older critics who hated the theory thing. And when he wrote his first book, uh, all of a sudden there was Cynthia Ozick. I mean, I won't even be able to think of the names, but, but that caliber were all there saying they lined up to blurb that book because they were like, finally, a young person whose sensibility isn't informed by post-structuralism. So, sorry, I didn't There's a good one. Any others out there? Really? Oh, cool. Yeah. I like that. Others? I don't know who that is. Paul Farmer, tell us. You need the microphone. A doctor who is in Africa and he writes books about. Uh, oh, yeah, he has a new, a fairly you new know, book. You know, important account. issues. And, yeah, yeah, well, and there's an. Not to cut you off, but I mean, there's another thought. I mean, when you're young, you can just go someplace. Just go someplace. I mean, it's incredible. It's something you can draw upon forever I mean you know personally but also you know as a writer I mean I, a lot of people are in grad school you know but not a lot of people say I'm gonna live in Syria for two years and believe me when you come back from Syria after two years you're a journalist people are ready to talk to you and you're 25 you know I want to um, I want to switch gears just a little bit but these these topics can remain on the table for sure um, I want to make sure that we talk a little bit about the uh, culture gab fest and also I want to ask you about the book you're writing which is about the 1980s um, and by the way you were a few minutes ago thinking well you know you can struggle long and success is very difficult and I don't know what you were saying but I was thinking this 80s book is bound to be fabulous and maybe it will hit big maybe lots and lots and lots of people will buy it and the next thing you know someone will ask you to write another one and you'll be I mean Paul Hendrickson is in the room he did 30 plus years at the Washington Post um, so he did the journalism thing not the academic thing came out of journalism to write books that are for general audiences and that are brilliant and has and now has a big readership so I'm not inviting him necessarily to speak but he wants to well, w would the name <laughs> Daniel Mendelssohn be part of oh, of course square? yes Daniel I, Mendelssohn I, I, total writes a lot for the New York Review books am I right about that I, no, absolutely. that was the name I was thinking of that was trying to meet in the middle of what you guys were trying to say brilliant 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 example brilliant guy and and a couple interesting things about him um, first of all he looks like a James Bond villain uh, he's he's the most because people uh, you hear these names and then you meet them and 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 you're and you're like you're you <laughs> you're David Halberstam or I don't know whoever I've never met David Halberstam but he did not look like a James Bond no, no. and 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 you meet Dan Mendelssohn you're like holy shit <laughs> this guy's this guy's really like he's got the suit and like cue ball bald and this feline like I mean he just radiates intimidating <laughs> brilliance but but okay so that aside from that um, uh, he's he knows Latin and Greek uh, and he uh, is at Princeton but as far as I know not on a tenure track he found a way to affiliate without getting sucked in right uh, and uh, he, he, there's nothing he can't write about for the New York Review he just wrote a takedown of Mad Men which uh, some of us were, were waiting for, and uh, he delivered. I mean, that's quite a, quite a piece, but uh, great, 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 you know, great intellect and a great career. Yeah. Now, your role on 